Right, good morning. We are opening on the pivot here. 2450 is your pivot this morning, 10 2450. And uh, <clears throat> yesterday was kind of a interesting, strange day. We opened up very high, uh, again, opening up almost 37 points from uh, the overnight low of 1002 uh, and change, and we ran all the way up to uh, almost 1039. And then we pulled all the way back to the pivot, which was right around 1013. The pivot was actually 1250, but close enough for government work. And then from there, uh, we rallied again, uh, all the way up to kind of where we are right now, 10.25. Then we sold off last night, uh, hit this low of about 10.16 and a quarter. And here we are again, up 10 points from that, 10.26, right at the pivot. So all kinds of uh, magnet action here as we try to figure out which way we're going. It's uh, uh, anybody's guess. Uh, it's a free-for-all right now. And the, the volume yesterday was super light. Today uh, continues to be, again, not a lot of economic news. I would still think that... Uh, uh, the upside bias is in play just because short week and lack of economic news slash earnings this week uh, would uh, an oversoldness would take us up. So that's kind of where we're sitting uh, with still still probably with a little bit of an upside bent as we open here this morning. So uh, real quick, uh, gold again yesterday was touching down into the 11 uh, 90s. Uh, it's sitting here again 11.92 down another two bucks. Uh, copper 299 up 21 cents moving up big so uh, again we're seeing some upside pressure here to the obvious things uh, that uh, drive us Go uh, gold as I said is down oil 72.95 down uh, about a buck and um, wheat and corn continue to go through the roof uh, as we've suggested uh, wheat sitting here at 508 and a quarter uh, really just kind of breaking out here on a, on a daily chart looking very strong we have uh, looked at that wheat position since about 440. So that's been a very nice trade for us. Continues to go to the upside. Anything over 517 now, and it's off to the races to fill that gap to 604. So that's about it. Again, day trading wise, you got to kind of wait for your half hour here to see how it settles, see what kind of range we're going to get. Uh, your R1 is 1035, your S1 1010, and that is your opening starting spot for the day today. Have a great trading day.